Yo, what is good, everybody? And thank you so much for stopping by the channel. For today's video, as you probably already read in the title description or the thumbnail, we're gonna be focusing in on the Jordan 3 Fire Red. What we're gonna be doing specifically is throwing them on the toe and seeing them styled with a few different outfits and a few different silhouettes in terms of bottoms. Now that's not to be mistaken with an all-inclusive review video or unboxing because I actually already have one of those videos already uploaded to the channel and I'll go ahead and link that here at the top of the screen as well as in the description below. So be sure to check that one out after today's video. Today, we are specifically highlighting the versatility of these shoes, throwing them on with a few different outfits in hopes to potentially help you with your buying decision and whether or not these shoes are for you or may work with your wardrobe. This is a regular thing I do here on the channel with different sneaker releases. So if you're into this style of content where I go ahead and acquire sneakers early, style them a few different ways, please be sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel as I may or may not be potentially acquiring the lost and found Jordan 1 running this same style of content on those sneakers. Now, with all that being said, just before we proceed, I did wanna give a special thank you and shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Keeps. If you didn't already know, two out of every three men will notice a noticeable amount of hair loss by the age of 35. Yeah, that's a majority of us. The Keep system is designed to prevent, and in some cases reverse, the effects of male pattern baldness. This isn't just another baseless claim in a sponsored video because I'm a legitimate customer and I can say definitively that Keeps works. As a matter of fact, link below is my full testimonial video about my hair loss journey and what I did to reverse it using Keeps. When it comes to hair loss, reversing it is rare, so prevention is key. Hit the link in the description to visit the Keeps site and get a full rundown of the system as well as getting the best offer available. Like I said, I did do that testimonial video that they really appreciated, so this is gonna be the best deal you could possibly get to go ahead and get started with the program. Thanks again to Keeps for making today's video possible. And without further ado, let's go and jump right into the first outfit of the day. For this first fit, I kept things very simple, centering around that worn in vintage aesthetic. The top is a real vintage tee from the 90s of his airness himself, Michael Jordan. I specify with real vintage because there are a lot of a vintage reprints, if you will. I'm actually wearing one right now as we speak. This single stitch beauty is one that I found while digging around the flea markets in Long Beach. It really is such a dope piece, rare because it is MJ wearing that number 45, which is a number that he didn't wear for long. Anyways, I digress. As you can see, it is a more true fitting tee, which means I did elect to go ahead and style with a pair of somewhat more baggy bottoms here I do have on a pair of distressed Levi's 501. This pair of vintage orange tabs is a pair that I actually sniped on eBay for really cheap. I wanna say it was like, like 10 bucks. This was well before 501s really blew up and got a more expensive or inflated, if you will. And so paying 10 bucks for one of my favorite pairs of vintage jeans was uh, definitely a come up in my humble opinion. But yeah, this first one is pretty effortless, not really too, too much behind it, apart from uh, really just matching the colors on the tee as well as on the sneaker. And then of course you've got the denim, which kind of just blends in, if you will. Next, I did go ahead and decide to keep that same vintage MJT on, but style it a little bit differently, keeping things the same proportionally. I did stick to a baggier pair of bottoms with this true fitting tee. I wanted to show, I guess, a more cleaner pair of pants that aren't distressed and all faded and stuff, but still keeps that vintage look. These are the utility cargo pants and remain a regular among my favorite pants to rotate into a bunch of different outfits for a few reasons actually. First, they fit nicely, maintaining a relaxed cut throughout, and you actually have the ability to tie the ankle to go ahead and adjust the closure to fit any sneaker you're wearing that day. Next, you have a relatively minimalist design, which essentially means that they're hyper versatile and can go with just about anything. And last, but equally as important, is that they are hyper comfortable. They sort of look like a vintage pair of canvas cargos, 
but what they actually are is a linen-like material. So despite the heat wave going on here in Southern California, you'll be happy to wear these during these warm months. This next outfit does also feature a vintage top, but this time around, I went with the other side of the proportionality spectrum relative to the last outfit, which did feature baggy bottoms and fitted top. And as you can see here, I did go with an oversized tee with a pair of shorts that, um, for lack of better words, is undersized or short shorts. Anyways, moving on, I've got on an absolutely gorgeous Winston Cup long sleeve tee, which in my opinion, aged marvelously. It was once white, but over time turned to almost a dingy looking white resembling like an eggshell tan. The shorts are a new discovery for me. Now, I do own a ton of different shorts, but for some reason, whether if I'm chilling at the house, running errands, heading to a local vintage event, or even lifting or hooping at the gym, these shorts somehow find their way onto my body. The material is extremely stretchy, it repels moisture, and extremely light. Last, I actually really, really like how these fit. Now I know they are on the shorter side featuring a five inch inseam, and that might not be for everyone which is why this next outfit does feature a pair of shorts that are a little bit longer. Here, I do have on the everyday mesh shorts. This dual layer pair of shorts are comprised of two nicely weighted layers of mesh. They finish right at the knee, so these are perfect regardless of how you like to style your shorts. Moving on, I do have on a rib tank top and over that is the minimal bandana trucker shirt. This paisley printed shirt is extremely unique as it does feature contrast gray panels throughout and a slightly cropped finish. This fit here is a nice option on those warmer days where you do wanna dress up, but stay comfortable doing so. Switching it up from shorts to pants, this outfit features a pair of denim that I regularly go to, and that is none other than the minimal D212 in the vintage black colorway. This pair of denim, in my opinion, can be described as more of a straight fitting pair as they do fit relaxed through the thigh, somewhat narrowing to the knee and staying straight to the finish at the ankle. This is an excellent pair for those of you who haven't really bought into that whole super baggy wave just yet, but at the same time have kind of moved on from more of the skinnier tapered denim. Paired with the D212 is a vintage tee. It is a Grateful Dead that has aged beautifully. Now, I know I do kind of describe my t-shirts as aging really, really nicely a lot, and that's because I always look for that and I prioritize uh, how it's aged and how it's been worn, making wear a really strong determining factor on whether or not I do end up purchasing that tee. Switching things up, I did go ahead and swap out the top for that white tank top again, and then threw on a Fear of God 6 collection oversized zip hoodie. This, in my opinion, is one of the best pieces from 6 collection. And now you might be thinking to yourself, Paul, it's just a zipper hoodie. But guys, it really is all about the details. And that's a huge motivating factor as to why Fear of God has such a cult-like following and is so beloved by many. Overall, pretty neutral tones for this one, which takes us over to the next outfit, which does feature those same tones. Now, you know it wouldn't be a full Locust and Wild Honey video without mentioning Fear of God Essentials at least once. Well, I'm kind of joking about that but I do have on here a Fear of God Essentials hoodie. This one is from a few seasons ago when the logo was a little less pronounced to say the least. Now, as saturated as Fear of God Essentials hoodies are, one cannot deny that their overall versatility, nice fit, and coziness. For that reason, I did elect to go ahead and make this a part of today's video. For the bottoms, I have on the B472 flare pants. This pair of minimalist flare twill pants are perfect for styling with literally anything. I had this specific pair taken in for a more refined look. They're offered in three different colorways and I do highly recommend these pants. 
I just feel overall when you do get them in, it'll be difficult to not want to wear them because they look good with literally anything. Of course, that is assuming that you don't mind uh, covering your sneakers a little bit at a time because they do finish with a flare at the ankle. All right, and so for this next outfit, I did swap out the top for a Uniqlo t-shirt, which I honestly live in half the time. You really just can't go wrong with a plain white tee. They look good. They're comfortable. And the ones from Uniqlo specifically are of really nice quality and offer a huge level of value because they're priced relatively cheap. I did go ahead and throw on a baseball cap in addition to the minimal patchwork cargo pants. These are currently on sale from 82 bucks all the way down to 58. And if you use my code Paul10 or Paul FB, you're gonna save additionally. This specific style was designed by independent creator Cody Phillips. You do have a ton of different cargo pockets throughout, and of course, a ton of contrast, whether it be in the silver buttons and hardware, to the different layers of patchwork all throughout the pants. These definitely stand out and are most likely unlike any other pants you own in your wardrobe. I know for me, I don't own anything like these, which is actually why I love them so much. Switching things up, I did want to go ahead and throw on a little bit more fall-esque outfits. And so for this outfit, I did throw on a pair of flare denim. These are the B118 from Minimal being comprised of a vintage wash denim and of course treated with that carpenter aesthetic. Just like other pairs of flare bootcut denim, they will have a relaxed fit through the thigh, narrow at the knee, and then open back up as they go to the ankle. The t-shirt is that same Uniqlo tee and I did decide to opt for a Yeezy Season 3 bomber, which has such unique specifications in relation to how it fits. But I do really like how Olive does style with the red on the fire reds. And for that reason, I went from the last outfit to this one. Keeping on that same pair of flare denim, I swapped out the jacket and just threw on a Lanvin Gallery Department faded hoodie. Now, I don't think they're available anymore, but I'll go ahead and look it up just in case. I did purchase this one from Double F for a fraction of the price that they retail for in the actual store. Anyways, I did want to show this look because before I did have on that easy jacket that was fairly oversized. It was pretty big to say the least. And so for that reason, I swapped it out for a more form-fitting hoodie. Keeping things fall-esque, I did decide to throw on a flannel as once fall rolls around, it's definitely flannel season. And in my opinion, this new minimal flannel encompasses all of the colors that you can come to love from fall. This is what is known as the classic flannel shirt by Minimal. And I do really love how it's got a traditional fit, a flat hemline, somewhat encompassing that level of crop, which is a size down from what I generally take to achieve this look. Underneath that, I've got a rib tank top from Uniqlo, and I paired that with the 12 flare cargo pants by Minimal. Now I know through the duration of this video, I did show flare pants that have been tailored. This specific pair was not tailored, which does give you a general idea how they could look uh, if you did decide to go ahead and go that route. 12 pants do have a slight fade to them, which I find to be a really great look. But yeah, overall for this fit, very fall-esque and one that I can see myself going to through the cooler months of fall. This next outfit really brings in a level of uniformity as it does feature an entire outfit from the Minimal Everyday Collection. Up top, I do have on the Everyday Work Jacket and it's named such because it does go with everything making it extremely versatile, which in turn can be worn every day. This is the faded black colorway, and in my opinion, is a very fire colorway. It is offered in two others, which do also look equally as good. From the very same collection, the bottoms are the everyday 12 pants in the same colorway, that being faded black. Now, this specific pair of pants does fit true to size. I am a true waist size of a 30 and take a size small. Bear in mind, the waistband is elastic, so there is quite a bit of give there. But yeah, I do recommend going true to size. Overall, very effortless and a lot of uniformity with this one. For this last outfit, I did have to end it how I started it, and that was none other than a vintage Bulls t-shirt. Uh, this t-shirt is on the slimmer side or more true fitting side, and I went ahead and styled this single stitch beauty 
with one of the baggiest cargos I own, and that is Minimal's newly released military cargo pants in brown. These pants are designed with an extremely relaxed fit throughout, with cargo pockets all over the place, very detailed, but extremely necessary nonetheless. They are comprised of a really nicely weighted 100% cotton, and is dyed with a custom vintage wash which looks extremely fire in my opinion at this moment in time they are currently almost sold out and they just released so i will definitely have a link below to go ahead and check these out if you'd be interested i highly suggest not sleeping on these because i actually had to go with a 28 from my 30 because the 30 sold out that quickly fortunately enough the 28 does still work so that might be something worth considering upon checkout and yeah this one might be my favorite outfit um overall but you guys let me know in the comment section down below i tried to show a myriad of different bottoms or at least different fitting bottoms so that way you guys can kind of see what it would look like with different stuff that you might own in your wardrobe this video is not meant to be like an all-encompassing video as to how to style the sneakers per se because in my opinion I've always been in the mindset that fashion is arbitrary, it is subjective. Once again, please be sure to go ahead and leave a like if you did enjoy today's video, subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. And of course, one last special thank you and shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Keeps, for making this video possible. As always, I do appreciate you all for stopping by the channel and for the continued support. I consider it an immense privilege to serve you through making content. And I remain insanely grateful uh, that you continue to come back to the channel, man. It really is so humbling. Anyways, I will catch you all in the next video. Peace and be blessed.